So today we're going to look at the uh, Zenith Data Systems Easy PC. You can see this is a uh, the stand. Well, I'm not, I was going to say base model, but it's not because it's got the 20 meg hard drive and single floppy, but the option port is still covered up um, and it has printer parallel and a uh, stripped down serial port which uh, I think eliminates the DTS and CTS signals uh, if you were going to try and use a modem uh, because the option port actually came with a built in 2400 board modem. Uh, power supply is integrated in the back of the monitor itself some labels and you can see the date stamped not very easily but November 1987 was the manufacturing date so I've got my Microsoft mouse plugged in this and an old uh, Samsung keyboard uh, which is my only XT compatible keyboard I have at the moment <clears throat> so the original keyboard I believe has Alps clicky keys which are desirable from keyboard collectors so that's long since disappeared. Um, the hard drive did not work when booted up. I got a uh, controller error. Um, it turned out, you know, with a bit of cajoling, the disc spun up and um, managed to find the original OS on archive.org, which was pretty amazing. After a lot of searching and not finding it, um, I found the actual DOS, MS-DOS 3.2 that was meant for the Easy PC. So, probably give it a go with Windows 1. We're going to dump out of here. Look at that mouse cursor though, how tall and skinny is that? So I've got my uh, actual serial Microsoft mouse and so yeah so Windows 1.01 .01 loads up into MS-DOS Executive which is fairly similar to the manager that comes supplied with the machine anyway. Um, but yeah so you do things like You know, you've got to click on the backslash to go up a directory. Um, so that's the root of C right now. Um, I could go in and try and load a game, maybe. Let's see. Here's Prince of Persia. I don't know how it's going to cope with this. Oh no, needs a pit. Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Requires 152k. 5k is available. <laughs> so, yeah. Probably safe to say we can't run games under Windows 1.01. And it's got to really think about it before it lets you back in. Okay. Right, we're back. Uh, so what we can do here, if I go back, I 
Okay. We'll go to Windows. You can bear in mind this is a 512k system running the NEC uh, V40 chip. So it's not it's not 100% IBM compatible. Um, and I have found some issues, but generally uh, Windows seems to work okay. Um, and that's the other thing as well, yeah, like when you go for a menu, you have to hold down the button, which is, you know, different to most modern uh, Windows systems. So the view, yeah, you can, you know, you can do a sort for just programs or all. Um, so then I want to know what the time is, so I want to load the clock, because apparently I need that in a giant vector drawing. So then you're like, hmm, okay, it's a clock. Great. But you see down here, here's, here's the magic. Here's the magic. It's not multitasking, but you know. Uh, the disk icon is your uh, MS-DOS executive, which is your file manager. So we can go back in, and while the clock is still running, multitasking, remember, uh, we can, let's say, let's load a game of reverse eye. See, and here's your here's your windows, your kind of windows, um, but it'll it'll stack these. So if I go back in again, you know, it's it's squishing them down. So yeah, see, I can't I can't even see anything there. So if we double click on clock, that should dump it down there. So now you have a clock icon down there. Reverse eye, we can double click on that, and it dumps it down there. Um, what else can we run? I'm going to run right. Let's do calendar. I think this computer still thinks it's in 1987. So. Oh, oh no, it's, remem it's remembered. I set the clock. Ha! Huh. Well, there you go. Uh, so, say so you want to go back to your, your very important game of reverse eye. So. We want to make that full screen. We double click on that. Oh no! Oh yeah, that reduces it. So double click on calendar. Mm. Doink. Doink. I was never very good at this, and I and I I think the computer is suspiciously good at this. So, you know. Take from that what you will. Anyway, uh, back to calendar. Yeah, see that's no good. So we'll we'll close that. And interestingly, it doesn't shuffle up the icons. The icons stay where they spawned, which is pretty funny. Get rid of that. And this gives us back to the executive. So yeah, that is uh, that is Windows. That is Windows 1.01. 1 .01. Uh, it's Paint. It's Notepad. See how the fill. See if it goes up, then down. Oh no, bottom to top. There you go. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Oh. Starts to struggle at the large sizes. <laughs> That was pretty funny. What a masterpiece. Alright. Nah, I'm not going to save that. I don't think that's worth it. So yeah, that's uh, Windows 1.01. 1 .01. Um, close. We're going to end our Windows session. It's time for some games. I've got some adventure games on here, which I was always fond of, um, but 
Prince of Persia. You can't go wrong with that. There is a keyboard issue with this, and I think this is part of the not 100% compatibility with IBM's. It's a bit slow, but it runs. But you do get um, beeps on the beeps from the speaker when you're holding the keys down. I mean, if I was a kid and I had this, and your parents had bought this, and you'd be, you know, terribly disappointed anyway, I'd put up with that somehow, you know, just to be playing a game that was graphics and not just like text. Yeah, you can see it's really unhappy at times. That's not annoying at all. Uh, I think this is enough, maybe, of Mr. Prince. But yeah, it works. So, um, I thought was quite interesting was this Snipes game. A to Z, one to nine, I don't know, three. Look at that timer going down though. Oh yeah, so this is like, it's a cross between Robotron, no, it's Berserk, isn't it? That's what it is. So you can fire in four directions with WASD. It's more mazy, you don't die if you hit the sides. Oh, see, I played this the other day and there was enemies. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I set the skill level too low. Oh, see, look, there's, there's an enemy. And that flashing box is the, uh, like in Gauntlet, is a spawn point where more enemies come out of, so. Mr. Blinking Eyebrow Man. One of them maze games. Anyway, can we quit this one? No, maybe we can't quit this one. Let's do a quick reboot. I love the noise it makes though. Okay. 
Okay, Floppy Frenzy. I haven't worked this one out yet. There's, there's something I'm not doing. Maybe I should read the instructions. There has to be an action button. Pretty funny though, you're a floppy disk and you're avoiding the magnets. Yeah. Aha. I thought the F1 key might be an action key, because on the old, you know... Okay, that got that one then. Uh, yeah, because the F keys are usually down the side on the first keyboards, then often the F1 is an action. That cutscene, man. Oh, hello. We've got a visitor. Someone's come up to say hello. Cleo wants to play. Actually, I think she wants dinner. Come on. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, he's a heavy cat. Okay, so F1. Uh, so you got to lay a triangle, I guess, and then you've got to hope they run into it. Hmm, interesting. So you, so you can't lay the triangle behind you. I don't know about this death sequence. Well, I think that's enough to flop your frenzy. Can we quit? Constant problem with really old games. Nope. There is a little TSR that someone's written that you can load up before some of these games that will give you uh, a quit that's pretty small, sits in memory, so you don't have to do a complete reboot every time you need to change. But alas, you've got to load it before you even load the game, so... an adventure game. I don't know. I don't think I've run this one before. Ooh. Many, ooh. Many cycles ago, in the kingdom of Undic, the gnomic wizard Zot forged his great orb of power. He soon vanished, leaving behind his vast subterranean castle filled with Assyrian monsters, fabulous treasures, and the incredible orb of Zot. From that time hence, many a bold youth has ventured into the wizard's castle. As of now, none have ever emerged victoriously. Beware. All right, bold one. You may be an elf, dwarf, man, or hobbit. Eh, I'm going to be a hobbit. Clearly cashing in on somebody else's IP there. That was incorrect. What? Yeah. I'll save you the torture of watching me play some text adventure games on this and uh, wrap the video up here. Hope you enjoyed it. Zenith, easy PC. Is it easy? Uh, yeah, sort of, you know, whatever. Um, pretty fun little beast. Anyway, have fun.